Welcome back. So let's continue now with our scrum board right here. Let's have a look at the next one. So I want to be able to add four test products now to Firestore and I'll do it manually for now uh, just to show you guys, uh, talk a little bit about Firestore and what it's all about. So let's go to Firestore to add our first products. Now, first of all, if I go back to the code, notice the product doesn't have an ID right now. I need an ID. So let's just put it in here because I'm going to use that ID later on. And when we're using Firebase, the ID is not going to be an int like you might be used to in a relational database, it's going to be a string. So I need that later. So let's just put it in here so it's available for later use. Um, now let's try and create those products on Firestore. I'm going into Firebase, uh, into my database right here. And here's my database. And right now it's Firestore, of course, but there's no collections available. I'll start my first collection right now. And um, you might think I would create a products collection and that is also a possibility, but I'm going to do something different. I'm actually going to create a top products collection, which is going to only contain the top products that I want to show. Okay. And this case it's only going to contain four different products. So let's try and start collection and say top products. And I might as well just tell you, I'm going to have duplicate data in this table, which is a no, no in a relational database, but it's actually okay in a document based database to duplicate data. And uh, it, 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 it is it really is. So let me try and show you why in, in the upcoming videos. But let's just focus on the top collection right now or the top products. So a product should have a name, right? And the name in my first one could be haircut, that could be the first one. And uh, let's add it, it should also have a price and I'm just going to use um, this as dollars, so let's just say $22. That's probably way too expensive, but I really have no idea what it costs. To, uh, to cut hair and stuff like that. So again, just to give you an overview, this is a collection is like a table, the document is like a row, and the field is like a column right here inside a relational database. So it's just a bit different with the document based. Second one, again, it auto creates the ID for me, I don't want to do anything up here. I can use that later to add specific IDs if I want to. But again, the first field is going to have a name. And uh, that's going to be let's say black uh, hair. Is it die maybe die? I don't know, something like that. And I'll add a price here as well. Price again, let's say that's a bit more expensive, like $30, something like that. I'll save that. Now I have two different ones. I'll add two more. Uh, name again. And this guy, let's say that's going to get uh, that's going to be extensions. Again, I have no clue what that is. <laughs> Trust me. Okay, I'll add a field right here. And I'll say price. And that's going to be expensive $100. I really don't know again. And the last one, let's say, um, let's say a shave, maybe we can get a shave in there shave. I don't know if you can even do that. But this haircut, they, uh, this barbershop they do. And the name should actually the price should actually be cheap $10. Now, by the way, don't put in garbage in here like I'm doing right now. Um, I'm going to talk to Trina and before I present this to her, I'm actually going to get some real product names from her because it just gives the customer a better feel of the application when we're talking about a customer review. If you put in some of their real products in here, it feels like it's actually her application compared to me just putting in gibberish like uh, nose hair or stuff like that. I don't even know if you do that either. So again, spend some time talking to the customer and actually put in some some information that she feels should be in their back hair. That's also something people might want. Black hair dye. I don't know. There we go. So now we have four top products. And that's all we had to do. Now we'll get back later and talk about why we can have top products. And we also going to have products later as two different collections with the same information, and even with the same products, but it is okay in a relational uh, in a document based database. And I'll prove that to you later on. That's it, we created four different top products right here that we can use for our next assignment. Let's jump in here. And let's say we use some time on this one. It was more than 0 0.1. Um, and we've added everything manually. Let's just draw that over here. And there we go. Now we need to get this done. And then we can kind of end our landing page. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time.